Hi again, uh, we reach exercise 4 uh, of uh, this sheet, so we are asking us to display the product sign, so the sign of the multiplication of two integers, but without performing the multiplication. So, in more detail, so write a program that reads two integer, integers A and B from the keyboard, and you should display the sign of the multiplication without um, uh, doing the multiplication. So, let's uh, take examples here. So, for example, if in A I have uh, 5 and in B equal 5, so the multiplication is 25, but I, I should not uh, do the multiplication and then check the sign. So, uh, I cannot write stuff like that, just I will write it, and this is not what they ask us. So, print F enter two integers and then scan off percentage d percentage d and then address of a address of b so i cannot say i cannot do that if a multiple b is greater than zero then print f positive hmm positive or else negative this is wrong we should not do the equal to zero so we should not do the multiplication they are asking us not to do the multiplication so this is wrong hmm? because it's against what is written in the description of the exercise so for example, if I have a, a positive number and B in positive number, obviously the product would be of positive number. So let's make a table. Let's say A and B. And let's see the sign of the multiplication. So if A is positive and B is positive, so forcibly the multiplication is positive. If A is negative and B is negative, the uh, pro product is positive. If A is positive and B is negative, the multiplication is negative. If A is negative and B is positive, again, it's negative. What if one of these ones is equal to zero? So it will be equal to zero and it will be equal to zero. So at the end, we will have three, three outputs, either plus or minus or zero. So if both A and B are positive or negative, the output will be plus. If one is positive and the second is negative, or the first is negative and the second is positive, the product would be of negative sign. If the first is zero or the second is zero, it will be zero. However, if I have done, uh, I have coded these two outputs, so obviously in the third case, I have just a zero. So, uh, let's uh, see, let me remove the USB. So this is wrong and let's see. So when the sign is positive, the sign is positive if A is greater than zero and B is greater than zero or A is negative and B negative. So you can use brackets. However, uh, we know that uh, for the comparison operators, and is more powerful than or and at last we will do the uh, less or equal so first we will do this one or this one and in this one we will do um, less then we will do the greater and or less so if it's very difficult for you you can use brackets it's more easier to understand with brackets so in this case we will print that the sign of the multiplication. So D sign of the multiplication between percentage D and percentage D. Percentage D is positive. And uh, in place of uh, the first percentage D, I will print A and then the variable b so if it's not positive let's see when the when uh, the the sign is negative so the sign is negative if 
uh, a is positive b is negative or a is negative and b is positive i will copy this because it will be easier i just modify some of it so if a is positive and b is negative or a is negative and b is positive so the sign would be negative okay a positive b negative or the contrary a is negative and b is positive so the sign would be a positive else i have uh, gave the condition for the positive the negative so of course at the end if it's not negative or positive it means that the sign is zero so there is no sign in zero so the multiplication between a and B is zero. Let's run it and check the output. Let's say five and six. So the, the sign is positive. Let's run. Minus five, minus six. So again, it's positive because we are here in this part. Let's run it, one positive, one negative. Five minus six. So it's negative, we are here. And let's do one with zero. 0 and 6 so the multiplication is 0 because 0 the a is not greater than 0 it's not less than 0 so it's the case here so we will not enter the condition here so we will print will execute this instruction which is a 0 so this is it for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to send it to me or to comment on the uh, video and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to follow uh, to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications and thanks for watching